Hey guys, Todd here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge System. Let's look at a really interesting use case, a nice little trick here for finding the internal volume of uh, for anything, uh, those kind of shapes of those of us designing vessels, reservoirs, tanks, bottles, anything that's meant to hold a liquid or any kind of uh, bulk material. Uh, most of the time, the internal volume is pretty important. We're trying to hit a target so that we know we can hold a certain amount. Uh, there's a few tricks to finding that. None of them were very easy before. But again, we can see with this complex shape here, uh, it's not going to be very easy to hand calculate as it would if it was just a cylinder tank or a rectangular box or something. So we're going to have to do something else here. Now previously, if you were comfortable with surfacing, you could use those tools to offset all the internal faces at zero, create a planar face, trim it up, uh, knit it together to create an airtight solid and then we could get the volume of that solid or that body but again you might not have known that was possible or you might not be a big surfacing user to be comfortable with that the other way was using uh, in the mold tool suite uh, again something you kinda have to be comfortable with uh, using um, but the, the core and cavity tools in there could also be used if you sunk your design into a block first so there's some things you had to know then you could extract an internal uh, cavity out of that and find the volume that way. So again, it was possible and accurate before. It just took several steps and it wasn't all that easy. So what we're going to do this time is uh, we're going to just use this little trick. And the way to do that is all we have to do is create a plane. That's all that's required from us. Pretty easy in SolidWorks. I'm just going to take this top plane. A uh, little trick here, shortcut, drag, uh, control, drag that top plane and it's just a shortcut into uh, the creation of a offset parallel plane. Let's say this is going to represent the fill line on this bottle. So let's say we're going to fill it up to six and a quarter inches. Okay, let's just start there. Okay, this will help us actually identify where a good fill line would be too in order to hit that target for that internal uh, fluid volume. Okay, so with the plane, now what we're going to use is the intersect tool. Hopefully most of you have heard of that by now. It was introduced in 2012 really powerful tool and the more we use it and the more we experiment with it the more uh, uses we find for it really powerful and easy to use uh, with few clicks few steps and that's why we like it so in this case we're just going to launch that command and now we have uh, the bottle and the plane so what the intersect does is it allows you to select a group of solids surfaces and planes and it finds the intersection between all of those bodies identifies all the distinct volumes created by those intersections so some may be removing material some may be adding some may be actually creating new geometry where it exists if an airtight uh, volume is created and that's what's happening here so we're gonna let SolidWorks just take the bottle and the plane find the intersection and you can see it's found three regions here now two of them are pretty obvious right wherever that plane splits the bottle I would expect it to find the upper half and the lower half Okay, the bottle and the neck here. But we get a third volume, which is really what we're looking for here. Again, because this plane intersects this open opening here, you can see where you can identify that internal volume. Now it creates that region on its own. So I'm going to select that. And now over here, anything selected is going to be removed from the model. So in this case, that's what I want to keep, and I want to remove the rest. So I'll just invert that selection there. But that's it. It's as simple as that. SolidWorks is doing all the number crunching and heavy lifting for us. Uh, all that's required from us is applying in a couple clicks using that great new intersect tool. Uh, okay, so now we can go to the evaluate tab and we know under mass properties we can get that information. 9.4 fluid ounces sounds about right. That's about what I'm uh, shooting for. You know, we have lots of options here too for any kind of a volumetric units that you may need in order to. Uh, you know, hit your design target. We're working with fluid ounces in this case. All right, and now, however, I need my bottle back to keep working on it. So uh, a nice workflow for this would be to, uh, obviously this intersect command needs to fall at the very end of the tree. We don't want to add any more features to the bottle at this point because that would affect this internal shape, but the intersect won't see it if they come after it. So it always you need that to be your last feature and then what we can do is we have two uh, configurations here one for the design phase and one for a volume check Okay, so with that in mind I'll just configure that feature 
and I'll say when I'm designing I don't want that feature to be on okay I want to see the whole bottle and I want to do that design work however when I'm in the volume check configuration I do want to see I do not want that intersect suppressed I want to see that intersect so I can measure the volume okay so by doing that now we should be good to go and I'll just flip over to the volume check configuration and just like that now I can quickly double check my volume and again I don't really want to constantly have to go back to the evaluate tab and call up the mass properties to double check my number every time I tweak a little fillet here and there so uh, something else we can do is just add a quick note just a 3d note here and we'll link to a custom property if you know you can link to all those uh, volumetric properties in uh, the custom properties of a SOLIDWORKS document. So I've linked one to volume. You can do mass, you can do the moments of inertia, axes of inertia, all those are available. Anything you can find in the mass properties, you can link to that property because it exists in the 3D model. So I'm just going to link to that, and there it is, 9.4, and now it's always there. So now any little change I make, like let's say, let's, uh, let's raise the uh, fill line a little bit. Okay, let's try, what if we go to six, six and a half inches? Okay, you can see that neck area fills up a little bit taller. Okay, it gives us the nine and a half fluid ounces. Maybe that's our target. We're good. Let's see where that fill line hits on the bottle. Okay, right about where the cap goes on. That might be okay. Maybe I want to make the bottle slightly taller now, but you can see where I've got an easy way to constantly make my changes, double check the volume, and make sure I'm hitting that target. So make sure you're looking uh, for uh, more interesting uses of the intersect tool. It's extremely powerful. It's only about two years old here and it's uh, we've already seen huge uh, benefits and practical uses for it. So enjoy. Thanks for uh, watching today and be sure to check back frequently for updates.